Another turd chop? Oh, I gotta school your ass. Get your ass up, boy. Where you at, man? Your house is empty. Ah, oh, hey. I had to kind of lay low for a while. Yeah, that nice Mexican we met. Me and T did that job for him, and we fell out. You gotta be joking. I wish I was. So where you at now? <sighs> Alright, well, I'll hit you if I find anything. Absolutely. Ah, uh, oh, hey. Trevor's got his wife. Trevor's got a wife? No, no, the Mexican's wife. What? <laughs> Shit, I don't know what to say about that one. Nothing. Nothing to say about that. Run! Run! I'm back! Coming, Trevor! Uh, bring me my coffee, I'm gonna cut your arm off. Absolutely! Who the hell's that, your maid? Oh, business partner. Good guy. Very loyal. Ron, Ron, that is Michael. And this is Patricia. Ah, listen, beautiful, you know, I'm sorry about everything that's happened, and that, you know, I can't guarantee no harm's gonna come to you. I might have to chop you up into little pieces before spraying your pulp mess down the drain, but I really hope it doesn't come to that. I appreciate your honesty. You are a good man. I can see that. You need your eyes examined, then. Ron, you miss me? Yeah, Trevor, a bit, I mean. How's the fucking business? I, I, I tried. If you're gonna give me a sob story, I'm gonna rip your fucking throat out and shove a turd down the hole. It's not a sob story. It's just not quite come good yet. But I heard about something to do with Merriweather. Mm, those assholes Big yeah. cache of weapons they got coming in. So I thought you might want to, uh, requisition it. Fantastic! Let's go! I'm in. Whoa, no, 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 not you. Sit down. You're a wanted man. Stay low. And watch her, okay? She's a good lady. Let's go, Ron. Good to meet you, Michael. Fucking come on, let's go. <sighs> the weapons are coming in by air. We've got a plane over at the airstrip, but... Great, let's go! What are you going to do? We're not going to take out a private army on the ground, Ron. We got to meet them in the air. I, uh, well, okay. Well, I knew that you were pissed after the Merriweather heist, giving back the hardware. That was bullshit. Right, right. 
So I've been monitoring chatter, tapping into Merryweather networks. Feels good to be back in the company of a professional. I gotta say, I got it. Now, I was expecting something a little more impressive. The late, great Michael Townley. Not so late and not so... Wait, uh... And not so great, right? And no longer called Townley. The years have not been terribly kind. What's the end game, man? We had a good thing going without him. If it's such a good thing, where's my money, huh? Where's my consultant's fee and my big fat dividend? I want a franchise network, Ron. I want reward cards and merchandise. I want to make gun violence and drug dependency accessible to every man and beast. Crop duster? That's the best we can do? Get in touch with my Mexican contact. Tell him we got some guns to sell. I'll get you on the CB. plane right ahead of me. You got the weapons they're using to enslave us on board. If we could get a hold of them, oh my god. On my 12. They're gonna use those weapons for no good, T. They'll be better in our hands. I know it isn't my place to ask, but how exactly do you plan on requisitioning this equipment and you've caught up to them? Whoa! One step at a time, Ronald. Let's just get there first. You got a job, man. They're on their screens. You got bad information, brother. I'm fine. We're approaching Fort Zancudo, Trevor. It's vital you don't fly right over it. Yeah, all righty. I'm in control of this. You know, the cargo plane's got four jets, a 200-foot wingspan... Yeah, 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 and I'm in a crop duster. This is something I'm acutely aware of. Enough! Low 
enough, Braun! I can be myself out here! Bullying, reckless, totally selfish! Do the things that make me me! You got to defend, man! Military will be all over you! Altitude's just fine, Ron. You're too high! Drop down before they figure it ain't an aberration! You're on their radar, Trevor! Lose altitude! Altitude corrected! You want me to put my nose into the dirt? Dick? You speak to Oscar? The Mexicans? This deal on? I'll let them know it's in the works. The works? I'm not risking life and limb for a shiminate soul! Are you sure? It's just Oscar don't like getting messed with. Do the deal! The guns are good as ours! Okay! Captain T in a 1989 crop duster, just enjoying the beautiful San Andreas weather.
fell. You crazy prick! Now, who's gonna fly this thing? Come in, air traffic control. There's been a change of personnel and destination on the Meriwether jet. We are now landing at Mackenzie Field! Changing frequency, over. Ron! Ron, you there? I got the jet! You with the buyers? We're here, T! Awaiting your arrival! Looks like a problem! Attention, Mary Weather Jet. We're under orders to escort you to base. Change course or we will engage. Oh, are you could diddle yourself! Hey, Ron! So, um... Freaking air force are on me! They deploy jets! <sighs> Try and fly over them, T! Fly above them! All right! Comply immediately! Maybe I'll give you 10% of what's in the hole, and we're all happy. It's nice oh, here. Trevor! Shit, are you okay? I saw the plane go down! I survived, and Lizard Army didn't do so well, so that's something. Ah, thank God! The fuselage went into the Alamo Sea. You might be able to salvage the hardware with dive gear or something. Ah, oh, good idea! But it'll take time. Tell Oscar! He ain't getting these guns. Okay. Look, I gotta ask. 
Are you in with the federal government? An agent, Sanchez, was round here saying you and Michael had to meet his supervisors at the garage, the cook site. Fuck, I gotta do this, okay? But I'm using them, all right? They, they ain't using me. Let's make that clear. Fuck you, man! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're the guy stealing contracts! You burnt the farm! Killed my brothers! You had too many brothers! They needed culling! You're fucking dead! Aren't we all? We live and we die, that's our curse. Hey, you wanna expedite the situation? Come fucking find me! Vespucci Beach, Los Santos, you inbred hillbilly fuck! I'll be there, man! I don't know when, but I'll be there!
They'll kill you. With How's it going there, you old loon? Living in this plastic paradise with all you fools. When you're in the bush, and you're scared out of your motherfucking mind, be grateful that the defense cuts left you with bullshit instead of bullets. Pow, pow! You're dead. Bro, goof just got you in the head. Well, that's what happened to Smithy! Hey, bud. What you do? Nothing. What you up to, Cletus? Uh, hunting. Hunt, hunting what? Retirees? Nah, just stuff. Windows, antenna, tires, vermin. Ah, so that was you. Tis the season for it. I don't give a shit about no season. <laughs> oh, good, huh? Don't let the regulations get you down. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey, hey. You want to come hunting with me? It'd be real neighborly of you. Hell. Why not? All right then, up here with you. I got just a thing. Let's raise some hell, neighbor. Oh, I'm in. I'll introduce you to one of my all-time favorite pastimes. <laughs> You're gonna love this. Okay, you see them three big satellite dishes? A decent shot, and they'll go down easier than a whore's drawers. You're a real pillar of the community. <laughs> no more reality TV for you, Mrs. Gilbert. Okay, one more for the road. Yeah, that's it. Give him hell. Shoot another one. Boom! <laughs> Didn't I tell you this would be more fun than a barrel full of pussies? Ooh, you're a classy date, Cletus. No denying that. <laughs> now drive us up to that abandoned motel. I got an even better idea. So, what now? We gonna try our luck on something less stationary. Ooh, liberals? <laughs> Lucky if we make it there today on foot. Well, we'll take your vehicle then. You've got way too much time on your hands. Nah, this is just a bit of foolery. I've been busier than hell with the real hunting. The money and wild organic meat these days, you wouldn't believe. Them hipsters will give you their parents' last dime for it. It's gotten so I can't even keep up with the demand no more. All this eat local, small batch, farm to table bullshit. You know, I could maybe use another pair of hands if I can get you up to snuff with that rifle. You keep on criticizing my shooting, you'll be starring in a snuff with that rifle. Here we are. I bet you never shut out the tires on a car before? Oh, you'd be surprised. Well, let's see what you got then. Ain't you gonna shoot anything, Cletus? Nah, I do this all the time, and I wanna see how you deal with the moving target. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good, plain, old-fashioned fun. You're slower than molasses on a cold day. Hellfire! Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. Seen that before. Cross the line! Come on, got 
Gotta show them sometimes you ain't a slave to the system. I'm pro-gun control. A steady hand on the trigger. That's it, beauty! And again, Trevor! Jesus! When in doubt, take him out. This is perfect right here. Pick a car and shoot a tire. Good plain old fashioned fun. Hellfire, Trevor, you ain't rushing this, are you? Only in Sandy Shores. Nice! Go on, one more, just for the hell of it. That's it, beauty! And again, Trevor. I never knew you were such an agitator, Cletus. All these damn tourists coming out here to gop at rednecks. Give them what they want, I say. That was some damn fine shooting, Trevor. Right, let's change it up. Come on, follow me. Two fellers killing time in small town America. Don't get much better than this, does it? The two most popular guys in town. Am I glad I ran into you? Ain't nowhere near this fun being antisocial on your own. Whatever cranks a tractor, I say. What's up next on the hillbilly anarchist agenda? Ever shot anything with a face? Actually, let me ask it again. Ever shot anything with a face on four legs? Now, Cletus, it's important you realize I'm a man plagued by vicious rumors. Fine. Let's head for the roof. I seen some coyotes hanging around down by the road. Reckon it would be real neighborly of us to get rid of a couple. And we are nothing if not neighborly. We'll get a better shot from up here. Looks like we got two packs of coyotes down there. Take a few of them out and the rest should scatter. <laughs> Sing to me now, song dog, and another. Them varmints always getting at the trash and chicken. Worst thing about the Alamo Sea, coyotes. I don't know. I can think of a couple more things. Dropped it like a bad habit. I think you got one more in you. What? That should do it. Nicely done. Give me strength. I reckon you should tag along next time I go hunting out at Polito Bay. I'll show you how to bag an elk. Eh, ah, why not? All right, gotta go. I'll send you a text when I'm about.
Martin! You know, I've been thinking about it. I'm not quite sure if I'm ready to accept an apology. Where is my wife? Patricia doesn't want to speak to you. And frankly, neither do I. I will find you! Okay. Well, I'll put some coffee on then. I'll see you soon. Hope you're gonna pay this time, Trevor. You hope what? Forget it. Just don't break anything or hurt me. The cheek of it. Maybe I'll pay, maybe I won't. We're two local businesses supporting each other, Melvin. I don't have to shop here. All the disreputable people smuggling guns into the country these days? Just be grateful for my patronage. Of course. Sorry, Trevor. We go way back, you and me, don't we, Trevor? So let's be nice. I need to get away from this town and this business. Me alive. Baby, I am so messed up. Mm, you look so effing hot. I want to hump you right now. We're never going to find a cab out here. Are you okay to drive? Drive? I can't even see. I feel like I need to lie down and like hold the floor. Gelata, what are we going to do? Uh, I don't know. You got a pen? Maybe I'm going to try to make myself hurl. Why don't we just sleep here for a while? Come on, we're classier than that. Ooh, I've got a total semi. Let's just do it. Nobody's watching. Just wait till we get back to the motel. Come on. Hey, that's our car, man. If you want to drive it so bad, why don't you give us a ride? But of course, you two are a hot mess. I love it. You're a legend, bro. We'll get in the back, out of your way. Baby, don't breathe whiskey on the nice man. So where can I take you two blacked out young lovelies? We staying at the Hotel Southwest from here. Thank you so much. Right now? You have like the best tits in the whole world. If I didn't have to work for a living, I would just play with them all day. Oh, you so bad. Oh, that tickles, Bobby. Yeah, you like that? Just wait till we get back to the motel. Mm, I'm gonna get medieval on those puppies. Oh god, you know what that does to me? Shift that sweet little ass over here. Let the wolf see the rabbit. You smell like cigarette and buffalo wings. It's making me so horny. Come on, give me a slice of that giblet pie. Hey, 
What are you crazy kids doing back there? I tell you what, while you're sweeping the front porch, why don't I work on her back plumbing? Huh? What did you say? How about I suck those kidney stones right out of your balls, big guy? Get this party really started. Uh, wow, wow, okay, man, it's cool, it's cool. Stop. Thank you, you're like the best. We've got a little unfinished business to attend to. Mm. Smells like fishmongers in there. Your mothers were too easy on you. Naughty boys. Badly wind, I'd say. A sophisticated sense of humor! <laughs> yes, the British. So funny, so funny. How love you, buddy! <laughs> oh, yeah, I love you too. Right here, there you go. Yeah. The weird thing is, he really does love me. Yeah. Or at least he tries to every night in my dressing room. <laughs> Please, all right? I, I was drunk. I mean, you? I'd rather finger that fat Irish singer we voted off last week. Oh, the tabloids say you actually did. What? Had sex.
going on? Can I see you? Well, I'm at work. Come by and pick me up. It's Amanda. Amanda DeSanta. We met at my house. Oh, yeah. Uh, shit, where you at? Look, I know that you and my husband and, and Trevor Phillips are... I don't know what the fuck you're up to, but I can make a pretty good guess. There's some weird things going on. Is he okay? I don't think okay is the right word. But he's no, he wasn't dead somewhere. Thanks. Don't tell him I called. All right. But look, he ain't doing too good without his family. You a nice girl. enough I'll do anything you want follow in furnace I'll take care of you oh you're so big Zika?
I gotta train your ass to use the John Chop. That's a big ass pile of shit. <laughs> 